Could this be the best cycling water bottle on the market? The Elite Fly water bottle. Now, there's so many things I love about this water bottle and I know it's just a bottle, but if you're cycling a lot or you're training a lot, it's something that gets used all of the time. And although they aren't the most expensive pieces of kit, if you're using it all the time, you might as well have the best one or the best few. I've got two 550 mil bottles and one 750 ml bottle. And I often opt for the clear ones just because you can see exactly how much water you have in there or how much liquid you have in there. And it makes it much more obvious when you're coming to clean it as well. But I do think the red one looks pretty sick and it matches my bike. Now, the first thing that's awesome about this water bowl is it's lightweight. And that's actually great for a couple of different reasons. When you first get one of these, you can't imagine how much lighter it can be than just a plain, normal water bottle because they're pretty light anyway. But as soon as you pick this up, you can actually tell a massive difference. It's crazy light. Although, once you've filled it, you can't really tell the difference between this one and a normal bottle. It's pretty insignificant compared to the total weight once you've filled it up. But I guess if you're saving a few grams, that's always good cycling uphill. But the second reason why it's so good is that it's really easy to handle, it's soft and it's really easy to squeeze. So with just a little bit of pressure, you can get a lot of water out of it. And it feels really nice to use and handle, getting it in and out of the bottle cage is all pretty seamless and it just works better than any other water bottle that I've had. The mouthpiece is pretty large, it's soft and it moves up and down really easily. This allows for a lot of water flow and there isn't any other bottle that I've tried before that's provided me with as much water flow as this one, even compared to the Camelback type water bottles with that jet valve. And I think this is because it's easy to squeeze and it has that large mouthpiece. So it just makes the water fly out, but in a good way. The mouthpiece is also really easy to clean. You can just take it off, it's one piece, and you can access all of the areas of it, which I think is important, particularly if you're having carb mixes and stuff inside it. One of my biggest bugbears is having something that's so complicated, it's hard to keep clean and eventually it gets manky. And it doesn't take long for that to happen if you're putting carb mix inside. There's so many water bottles out there that have super fancy mouthpieces with loads of different parts, but it just makes it much more complicated and it makes it much harder to maintain, which just isn't the case with these. And I find myself throwing those ones away a lot more often if they're super complicated and just difficult to deal with. The opening where you fill the bottle up is super wide, which is often something I forget about, but if you wanna put in carb mix, Having a wide opening is just much easier and you don't have to start kind of funneling powder in and just getting powder absolutely everywhere. That's an absolute nightmare. Obviously something little, but a good thing to have. And especially if you're out on the road trying to pour a sachet in, you don't want to lose half of it because it's hard to get inside the bottle. And you don't have to take around a little funnel with you to try and get it in either. And again, this helps with cleaning because it's easy to get inside of the bottle having that wide opening. Lastly, I love the design and the colors of them. They're super simple and they come in loads of different colors. So you can match them up with your bike, which is awesome. The only thing I would say is after some use, they do get pretty scratched up, maybe easier than other bottles that I've had in the past. But to be completely honest, any bottle that I've had, I've always found if it's going in and out of the bottle cage, they always show signs of scratching and wear, which is maybe something to consider. And in terms of price, they're in line with other water bottles. So I'll put a couple links in the description below where I got mine from or where I found them cheapest. So even though I think these are the best water bottles out there, they don't come in at a premium price, which is nice. Now, if you have one of these bad boys or you have a favorite water bottle that you think might be better than this one, then let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear. And if you wanna see more content like this and you wanna support the channel, maybe just consider subscribing. It really does help, obviously it's free to do. And until my next one, have a really good one and I'll see you then.